That's all right there. We're good? That's okay. Good. Just overall, what you saw from this first one and how pleased were you about how things went today? Um, it was good. We knew we had to slow things down from a teaching standpoint. You know, you only got a couple kids uh, at certain positions. You got one inside linebacker, one outside linebacker, two corners, one safety. So um, our plan as a coaching staff was to get out here for about an hour, really technique-oriented, get guys back, uh, and just spend some time. Because sometimes I think once you get to, to Friday and all of a sudden you're back into scheme and everything's happening, there's 90 guys running around, everybody's flying around you. You know, these young guys can use as much practice time as they can. We haven't been with them since uh, – June, so it was good to get back out here. And we're pleased with how they came back, um, for the most part in shape and, and ready to go. And you know, we got a good day of meetings, and we'll finish up with some. Uh, we got more meeting time tonight. And so, really, we're using just these two days as a as just a, a, a way to get a little bit of a jump start before we really start. I think you know, for us, official start of camp is probably fine. So the two rookies were on NFI because they didn't pass the tissue test. When will be their next chance to pass that test? When the veterans test on Thursday. Okay. And, and how disappointing is it that those two guys weren't able to get through that? Your goal in life is to play in the NFL and get past condition to test the plane. That's what balls in the airport. What's the what testing system? Do? We got a running test. Two miles? Or? Just about six. <laughs> it's a conditioning test. It's a series of sprints with a rest time in between, and it's all your varies by position. How exciting is it for you um, to be out here finally for your first NFL training camp? I, you know, I don't look at it that way. I've been excited every day I've been here, so it's not, I, I, don't, I don't think, and I think our guys, I'm trying to get that mindset involved in all of them. It's not, hey, let's get really excited because it's the first day of camp and then the third day of camp before. You know, I think you got to be excited that every day you're out here, um, you get an opportunity to, put, to work with a bunch of guys. We, we have an outstanding staff, and, and the players have been outstanding, you know, in terms of their reception and them wanting to get better. So I, I was excited when I got here on the 16th of January. You know, it's the same today. Just because we got a chance to get back out on the field, I don't think it changes at Chip, why was it important for James Casey to be here early? He, he wanted to be here. You know, I think uh, there's a rule if you don't go through the, the full part of the mandatory minicamp, you're allowed to bring certain veterans back if they didn't go through that along with the quarterbacks. And James wanted to be here, same with Kelsey. They both wanted to be part of it. Uh, I would have, I, I left it up to both those guys in terms of what they wanted to do, but both of them were excited to be here and be a part of it. You know, they've been here all summer long every day. You know, it's just now, now we get to actually work with them. So uh, good to get a chance. James missed a couple days, but... Real smart, real sharp, you know, picked up where he left off in the OTAs. So. How important is he uh, in terms of what you're trying to do here offensively and just to have him back healthy? It, you know, I didn't, he was, I didn't really look at him as not healthy. It was more of a maintenance thing just to make sure that he was up to speed when we got to camp. So um, he was full speed when he was going through the, the first mini camp we had. He was full speed through the OTAs. So and we had a pretty good chance to see him. He really just missed three days. So. Um, and if we probably had a game, we probably could have gone. So it was just more of a preventive thing. But, so. but him and your offense in general, how, how, how important can he beat your offense? Very important. You know, I think we, we pride ourselves on versatility and, you know, being able to put different personnel packages out, out on the field at the same time. And, uh, you know, having a guy that can play multiple positions makes a lot of uh, difficult decisions for the defense in terms of how you're going to defend them. So I think, uh, you know, trying to utilize that in James. But the more times we get a practice opportunities with him, the more times we get a chance to kind of see what he does best and try to play with his strengths. So. Do you expect everyone to be here now? I mean, 